Woo! I fixed it. I think I did. Did I fix it? Woo! Hi, guys. Hi. Sorry about my last one. Hi. 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 I got some deliciousness for you guys. Oh my God, you guys are gonna be so happy for this. Okay. So this single de Mayo, I'm gonna be a good girl. All right, let's go zoom over here. Let's see if that is a good angle. Is that a good angle for the food? I think that's a good angle for the food. Let me go over here. There we go. And I'm over here. So. So. I got some special nachos I wanna make. They're completely vegetarian. But I saw this in the grocery store and I was like, <sighs> so this is what I found. I found these Cooners Southwest refried pinto beans and their nacho cheese flavor. So I figured like, what would be better? Like nacho cheese usually goes on nachos. So what if I like do the refried pinto beans that are nacho cheese? I'm freaking nachos, man. That, that, yes. And then also on the nachos, we got some of these signature selects, diced green chilies, mild. We're going to be doing that. Where is the, oh shit. Where is the can opener? Do you know where the can opener is? Oh Lord, one minute folks. I found it. By God, I found it. I found the can opener. I found it. All right, good for us. And then, And then <laughs> we're going to put half a can of these sliced olives on the, you know, nachos because the other half of the olives will be for our tacos because there's nothing better with like olives with your tacos. You know what I mean? But we're going to like take half of that and put that on our nacho stuff. And then, also for our nachos, I'm not gonna put it on when it's baking, you know what I mean? But we got some delicious, mild guacamole. I mean, look at that, look at those peppers. Don't those look incredible? Like, yum. We, got, we gotta do that. We got to do that. That That is some delicious yumminess. You know what I mean? That is some delicious yumminess. How would you not like that? How would you not like that? You know what I mean? And then, and then we have this delicious pico de gallo. Look at all that cilantro in there. Doesn't that look absolutely divine? Thank you, baby. Thank you, you handsome, handsome man. I really appreciate it, boo-boo. And then, of course, you know, there wouldn't be like nachos. And, and I don't think Tammy would forgive me for this, but it wouldn't be nachos if we didn't have the, you know, the daisy sour cream. You know, you gotta have the doot doot the dollop, doot doot the dollop with Daisy, with Daisy, 
we we have to do do the dollop with Daisy, man, and 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 have its beautiful sour cream goodness, man. Oh man. I wish I lactated sour cream. Tammy gave the greatest idea on that. Oh, yay! I'm up to 350, which means I can do the nachos. So we're just going to put that right there. And then, babies, I saw this and I was like, ah! and had one of these like shop logo, local things on it. So I got this. It's Rocky Mountain Salsa. We're going to do a taste test. And see how the Rocky Mountain salsa is like. I think I think it'll be wonderful trying some Rocky Mountain salsa. It looks wonderful. It says right here, reward. A mountain of flavor in every jar. Amy Lastly started making this extraordinary salsa in her Colorado kitchen for family and friends. With their encouragement, she entered her prize recipe in a national gourmet salsa competition and the public clamor began. Taste for yourself and see if you don't agree with the experts, Amy Lasley's Rocky Mountain Salsa is premier salsa in the West. All right, it's, it's been since 1991. So this is a 1991 company. This is a 30 year old company. Happy anniversary, Rocky Mountain Salsa. Happy anniversary. I'm gonna try you in celebration of your birthday. We're gonna see how this is. Plus also, I have a little bit of the munchies, man. I'm not gonna lie. So I decided to go freaking authentic for the Cinco de Mayo. And I got some Santanitas. These are so good. Do not like let that like number right there turn you off of these like seriously flavor filled chips. Don't let it. You try these. These are good. And if you're poor, you probably already tried them already because they're the cheapest thing you can get. It says Authentico Estilo Mexicano or Mexicano. And we're going to try that, man, with this. We're going to try that. The salsa, we're going to dig into that and we're going to try it. We're going to see how it is. It's probably really good. Oh my God. Okay, hear me out. It tastes. The tomatoes are like sweet, like a pasta sauce. Mm. But it's got this nice little heat in the back of your tongue. Ooh, and it has this wonderful blend of spices. What are the spices on here? We got onion, lime juice, jalapenos, spices, cilantro, chili powder, salt, and garlic. Huh, and it's got green chilies in it. Well, that is a very flavor-filled salsa, and I recommend the flavor-filled Salsa. I, I love it. I think it's great. Mm, my family's gonna love this. All right. Damn. Now you hear. All you here sitting here, now you listen to me. If you ever find this in your grocery store, you go and pick this up and you be like, wow, that is some delicious goodness. I'm sure you can probably find it on the Amazons. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ah. Next ingredient I have is no other, no other than the, the delicious nacho cheese Doritos. Like, I'm going to mix this up. This is going to be like, you don't know if you're going to get a Dorito or you're going to get a Santanitas. 
It'll be like a mishmash. It'll be so stinking good. It's gonna be so stinking good. Oh, okay. Let's get that started. So, pan. Remember to have yourself a solid pan. And we need to get some oil on this hizzle. So let me see, do I have spam? I think I have spam. Let me look at my spam. Spammy, spammy, spammy. Spammy, spammy, spammy. Spammy, spammy, spammy. Ah, uh, do I have a pan in here? Where is my pan? No, the Pam. Pam? The cooking spray. Oh, uh, I don't think you have that. Oh. Sorry. You should have told me. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, fine. I have disappointing news. We don't have the Pam spray. So we're gonna wing it another way We're gonna take some of this good organic extra olive oil and we're gonna just put that on the pan. If there is any, there's nothing in here. Is there, or is it, oh my God, it's capped. These 300 milligram special treats has um, made me a little impaired of knowing to look deeper into situations. You know what I mean? Cause I'm all up in here, but I'm not absorbing myself greatly in the bottle of extra virgin oil. Cause I feel like I'm in a hurry. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm too old now to just like rush things. Like, to me, back in my cooking days, oh my God, to me, when I was like serving people, I could rush over the kitchen willy-nilly. Nowadays, mm-mm. I gotta sit down and take my freaking time. Thank you, fibromyalgia. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take this off and pour it on the pan. Voila! And then we're gonna go and make sure our hands are clean because I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of this oil on here, but I wanna wash my hands first because I was touching those cans and I don't, you know. Clean hands. All right. Let's go warm our hands on the, you know, this and spread it on. All right. Oh, don't you love the smell of olive oil? It is so wonderful. I love the smell of olive oil. Do you think that's weird? I love the smell. Oh. It just reminds me of pizza dough and comfort and the smell of yeast. Oh, I just love the smell of olive oil. It's a very alluring smell to me. I think olive oil may be an aphrodisiac. I'm just saying. So we're gonna put the Doritos like so. And then we take the Santitas, these things, and we're gonna throw that in there. And we're 
we're going to mix it. Oh my God. This is so wonderful. I really like to cook for you. You guys are my true fans. Cause you're watching me cook. And it's wonderful you like to see me cook. Ooh, ooh, this is a good ASMR moment. Let's all be quiet. Come on. Mm. Ooh. That is so yummy. All right. Now listen. We gotta start on those pinto beans. I gotta stir that baby though. Kinda get it a little warmed up, you know what I mean? Hold on. Let me get a utensil. Okay. Too big. Too big. It's like my husband's dead. All right. I have received a spun. Initiate can opener. Yeah. I like them crank can openers. I don't like the electric ones. There's just something calming about a old fashioned can opener. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Let me smell this. Does it smell like nacho cheese? It's got all this like grease in it. Look at that. Uh, oh! It went all over my dashed green chilies! Oh! Oh! Okay, I'm gonna smell it now. Drink it? Someone give me five dollars and I'll drink it. Hey, this is money. I, I, I got I gotta pay I gotta pay for my children and their food in the house. You know how expensive this stuff is? It's pretty darn expensive, let me tell you. And I don't know how to do it by myself because I can. So help me. <laughs> I've been sitting on my ass for three years and there's nothing I can do. Ah! So, I'll just, um, let me see. $5 and I'll drink it. I'll just pour that right on the green chili stuff because I'm classy that way. So, $5 and I'll drink it. This putrid stuff right here. Okay, let me smell this. Let me smell this. Now, do I have the Rona? Well, it doesn't really smell anything but like refried beans. Does it taste like anything? Do you taste like anything? Well, it kind of has a nacho cheese flavor. It doesn't matter. It's going to be good on the freaking nachos anyway. I don't know, man. I don't know. If, if I drink that mess, Rev is going to have to relinquish the to toilet. Probably. Probably, man. Probably, but I'm just gonna do dollops of this. <sighs> Wait, I was supposed to stir this first. What the fuck are you thinking, Shannon? Stir it, make it loose. 
Loosen up. Loosen up. Ooh, feel that. Listen to that. Yeah. Yeah. Gentlemen, I know you can relate to this sound. Listen to me. Don't be like saying that I'm all being sassy and stuff. I'm just being comedian. Let me be a comedian. Damn it. Enjoy your life. Don't be hating on me. Please. I'm just a little girl. I don't want to do anything bad to you. Just give me another chance, please. Hi, Laura. Thank you, Laura. You should have stirred some macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, we all know that mac and cheese sound. Woo! Bong chicka bong bong. <laughs> Woo boo! Making my family. I gotta stand up and do this. You see me? I'm like such a professional. I'm like, nah. I gotta stand up and do this. My face needs to be like face down in the food. I want to see that. I want to hear it. I want to like see the glory of the food, what it can turn into. Like, I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. This is some messy nacho stuff. You know what I mean? It's some messy nacho stuff. Mm -hmm. Just put that whole can on there because why not? You're not going to eat it for anything else. So might as well put it on. Put the whole can on. There. And then I'll put the juice back in there. So I'll do the uh, bet if you want. But... Let me wash my hands real quick. You see how smart my oven is? I accidentally turned this on and it knew it had things that were plastic on it. Yep. I'm going to be leave, leaving this, so this stove soon. This computerized smart stove. <laughs> I barely used it. I've barely been able to enjoy it. And I'm going to lose it all. God's will, God's will, God's will, God's will. So, the next thing is I'm going to open up these diced green chilies that's been absorbed by the bean juice. So, it probably gives us some, like, extra flavor, I guess. But I'm going to drain these. So you want to know a quick trick how to drain stuff without using a strainer? The many stages of grief cooking edition. I know, man. I know. We all getting broke in this mother... You know, trucker. Why are you sitting in a chair while cooking? Well, honey... There's this thing called fibromyalgia mixed with osteoarthritis. And um, me standing for long periods of time can be dangerous for me because I could take a fall. Especially after me having a walk-in like I did today. So I'm going to take these green chilies and drain them. Now, 
I'm teaching you a trick without using a strainer. You just press down and you turn it until there's no juices left. You see how it like slowly like fills up with juice? That's what you do when you do it over your, uh, your sink and then you wash your hands because this stuff's gonna burn. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. Oh, I love the taste of green chilies. Mmm. That trickled down my face. That's gonna burn. Hold on a second. Let me do something incredibly gross and nasty. Mmm. Oh. I love how they taste. And they're mild, so it's not like a really like big like heaviness to them, I guess you could say. Oh, these are such the goodest, tastiest freaking things ever. I love these green chilies in the world. In case you haven't noticed, I'm one of those cooks that tastes her ingredients. Because you never know if you have a bad ingredient. So you might as well taste your ingredients then putting them in your dish and then having your whole dish spoiled. So... Little chef knowledge. Little chef knowledge there. Taste your ingredients to see if they're fresh. Because there's nothing, uh, nothing more uglier than tasting something that's not fresh and not good and just destroying all the money you spent on your food. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is some gorgeous stuff. All right. I got to open these pitted, these sliced olives. I got to open that. I'm just gonna open it up a little bit cause I'm gonna drain the juice. So hold on a second. You know what? I like that. Look at this can is like really full. Look at that, that's full of olives. I was like hope, I'm thinking it would be like half, half olives. But it's not. And then we save the other. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> Yummy. We're going to save the other half for our tacos. Ooh. So yummy. Okay. Next ingredient, of course, is no other than Mr. Mexican style with cream cheese, family size. We're just gonna tear this baby open if we can. Good God, do I have the scissors? Where's the scissors? Do we have any scissors down here? Get the knife. Get the knife. Get the knife. Get the knife. Woo! There we go. It's open. Look at that. Look at the different colors of the cheese and look at the cut. It's such a large cut. Oh, oh. You don't think I'm not gonna taste the cheese, of course. Of course I'm gonna taste the cheese. It's cheese. I love cheese. 
Da-dum, I love cheese. Da-dum, I love cheese. Da-dum, yes, I do. For seconds. Uh, should I go for thirdsies? Should I go for thirdsies? Oh yeah, we're going for thirdsies. We're gonna have another pass. Woo! Of the cheese. And we're going four too. We're gonna do four passes of the cheese. There we go, baby. And now we have to put this in the oven. And we're just gonna let it stay there until it gets nice and melty and delicious. You usually can tell by the smell. By the smell. I need some tomato. Well, I'm not going to cook the tomatoes. I want my tomatoes fresh on my nachos. Don't you worry, I got some tomatoes. Don't you worry about that, that's coming soon them tomatoes. Mm-hmm. That, they're coming soon. But I'm gonna put this here in the oven. Ah, chair, you gotta move. Oh, yeah. You go in there. Enjoy, nachos. You can tell I've done some service work because I'm like cleaning up as I go. <laughs> That's just how I do it. Maybe some green onions. I didn't get any green onions. Do I have cheese in my hair? Oh my God, I got cheese in my... No, it's not cheese. It's the pinto beans. It's the pinto beans. I gotta wash my hands. My hand's been in my hair. And, and according to OSHA laws, if your hands are in your hair, your hands are unclean and you must wash them. Okay. Yes, Stephanie. All right. Now, this is my cutting board. I got this cutting board in a whole set when I first moved into this place. I thought it was so pretty because I love my kitty cats and I love pink peacock feathers. I think peacocks cocks are so pretty. I love the colors, like the turquoise and a peacock feather and how it's kind of like translucent almost. I love it. So. I got some interesting, uh, interesting pepper. This is called the Aloha pepper. Look at the colors. This is an Aloha pepper. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm wondering how it tastes. That is, it's like an heirloom like tomato, but it's a pepper. That is gorgeous. So I got them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them up 
and I'm gonna fry them up so they're nice and delicious. And then I also got these gorgeous hot house tomatoes because I figured one could be for the nachos and the other one could be for the tacos. It all works out. It all comes together. And then these are gonna be wonderfully sauteed. Oh, we're gonna have a good night here in this household. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna see if it tastes like a red or orange pepper. Maybe it doesn't taste like any of that, but we're gonna find out. Now I'm gonna stand up for this because <clears throat> let me let me let me let me aim this properly for you. Cause I got some knife skills. Just want to let you know. I got some knife skills. So what you want to do is you want to cut off the top like that. See, cut off the top. That's how you properly cut a pepper. You just cut off the top and then you make a slice here. That's how you not cut yourself, right? And you just pour it open, pull out this stuff, like so. And you wanna just slowly, remember to knuckle yourself. Slowly slice away. go and then the top of the tomato the pepper you just slice it and quarter it got it let's try this let's see how this is let's have let's see how this is mmm Oh my God. Jason, you need to get down here and try this pepper. You have to try this. Oh my God. It is like a cotton candy pepper. I'm not kidding you. It is the most beautifulest, sweetest, most gorgeous taste in pepper I've ever put in my mouth. You need to try a Aloha pepper. It is that wonderfully beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's, pr it's pretty looking. They were asking if, yeah, this was washed before yes. cut it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's, somebody was asking. Sorry. Oh my God. Yeah, real high. Sugar cow. Sugar content. Yeah. Oh! I gotta give this to my guinea pig. Yeah. Got Will, it. taste this pepper and give it to the guinea pig. Give, taste one and I wanna get yours hat. Try that, that is the sweetest pepper you'll ever try. Isn't that delicious? Give that to the guinea pig, he'll love it. Give that to Cheech. Ah, that's so, oh, oh, you can feel the vitamin C coming in your body. Oh, actually it's recommended to give peppers to guinea pigs because of the vitamin C count and the peppers. Oh, by the way, if anyone doesn't know, this long cut right here is called Julianne. 
julienne. So good. Put this on the plate. And we're going to set this aside. And then we're going to cut the tomatoes. Yay! You love my kitchen? Thank you. Thank you so much. I wonder if I could pull it back a little bit. Woo. Try to make this more. Yeah. That's a good angle. What made you decide to get gu guinea pigs and do your cats get along with them? My cats always bullied mine. Um, well, when we first moved to Colorado, I really, the boys really wanted to have a pet. Like William really wanted to have a cat and our apartment didn't allow, um, cats or dogs so I was like you know what why don't we get William a guinea pig he'll love it so we got the boys a guinea pig one was Stilly he passed away and the other one is Cheech yes he's named after Cheech Marin let me see the nachos not quite but melty you want to see look at this Look how delicious this looks. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh yeah. Wait, let me see. Better angle. Uh, wait. There we go. Ah, that is so delicioso. Yum. 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 <clears throat> To the tomatoes. way to cut a tomato is cutting them in half and quartering them by the way cutting out this stuff because that is just useless meat what you could do is take all these parts for these vegetables by the way and I probably should do this actually that's actually smart thinking is this is how you save on money, okay? You take all these vegetable parts and you put them in a Ziploc bag and then you freeze it and then you make a stock with it. It's a great way how to do it, by the way. Because you get flavor in these parts. They're still parts, but the, the, you get great flavor in them. But with tacos, you kind of just want it a little like meaty dices, you know what I mean? Like, and I see those Amberlyn Amberlyn Reed jokes, okay? But, um, let me assure, assure you, I have spent, since I was nine years old, in the kitchen. And not only that, I spent about 15 years in commercial kitchens so I'm not that worried about a knife I I know I have enough control with it so it's really like swimming you just can't fear it just go with it go with the breeze
Girl, if you were doing this with another... I'm not worried about the knife. There's one, one half. This is for the nachos. Oh, that's so good. Let's try tomato piece. Mmm. It's so sweet and yummy. I'm sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm like getting zoned out. I'm like, oh, this is so zen with these tomatoes. Sorry about that. How are you guys? How are you, Pookies? Forgive me. I'm not cutting these right. Oh, well, I don't care. It's gonna go in your mouth anyway. I probably should cut them flesh out. Probably make it a little bit easier for me. Oh, this is going to be so good. I think what I'm going to do is the next meal I'm going to make is chicken and dumplings. And I'm just going to put this in the chicken and dumplings. That'll be delicious for you guys. What do you think? It's almost done. I can smell it. Yes, I am that good in the kitchen where I really can tell if something's cooked by their smell. Does anyone else do that when they're cooking? They can really tell by the smell. All right, let's separate that like so. Diddly do. All right. Next thing we are going to do, my lovelies, since we're done with that, we, hmm, we are going, let me see, let me see this. I have this Spanish rice. It says, ready in 15 minutes. I've never used this before, this stuff. This La Perferita Spanish rice. Let's see, how do you prepare it? Does it say how to prepare it? Hello? Oh, directions. In medium saucepan, bring one, two thirds cups of water to a boil. Add contents of pouch and stir well. Bring back to a boil. Reduce heat to medium. Cover and simmer for three minutes. 
Remove from heat and allow to stand covered eight minutes. Stir before serving. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook this over here. So it's calling for one and two thirds water. Okay. here. One cup. And two thirds. That's two one third cups. Like so. All right. So, I'm just gonna put the contents in. How does it smell? Mm. 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 It smells delightful. Oh, that smells really good. That smells really good. Ah. Put that in there. Put it on on. We'll put on seven hot. Actually, smells. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to put that right there, actually. Do you happen to know where the pods are for the wash? Because I'm doing a wash. <laughs> I would ask William. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, do you know where the, the pods are for the yeah, it's under there. I was going to look for it. Thank you, dude. I will. Oh, okay. Tide pods. Well, yeah. That's for, it's Arm and Hammer. Maybe they're still out in the car. Oh, it's, it's an Arm and Hammer container? Oh, this is the Arm and Hammer. It, uh, no, no, no. Hmm? I, maybe we didn't. Did we get them? Yeah, we got the Arm and Hammer. Yeah, I put them all in the Oh, they're in this. Oh, okay. I, let me do this, lower this for you guys. We got oil. Oil. And, because we're pretty much vegetarian in this house, I got this beautiful stuff. This is awesome ground sweet earth. This is vegetarian. This is not meat. This is vegetarian and I'm ecstatic to eat it, actually. It sounds so good. But you're gonna like what I do next. Cause my ideas are clever. It's also non-GMO. Let's see what this stuff is in it. It's pea protein, coconut oil, canola oil, pea flour, vegetable juice, 
So it's got some pretty healthy things. It's it's quite a bit of fat, but not quite as much as it's like me. It's 11 grams of fat. It's got six sat fat, um, 16 grams of protein. So I like this stuff. I like using meat alternatives um, in my food. I don't like eating meat, so I eat the meat alternatives. And I've lost a lot of weight doing it this way. And you just let it just sit in the pan. Just I'm, I'm breaking it up right now. This is all vegetarian. You can't get salmonella or anything with this stuff like meat. Like you could eat this raw, really, because there's nothing like bacteria wise in it. It's just pea pout. Peas. This is peas. I love impossible meat. I absolutely love impossible meat. Let me turn that off and I'll set, I'll keep the nachos in the oven right now to keep them warm, but I turn the oven off. But the sweet earth is not bad either. Let me tell you. I'm just like browning it a little bit, cooking it a little bit. Yes, I'm using the spatula on both. I really don't think there's much of a problem with it since, you know, it's all vegetarian here and there's no meat, so might as well. Save on water, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, this looks so good. It's supposed to come up to a boil and then I take it off and cover it. That's what it says. Now, spices, spices. Now, I know what some people say. This is a cooking show. You should be having like select delicious spices. But I say nothing beats good old Ortega taco seasoning. I just, I can't. I've tried to make my own taco seasoning, but nothing comes close to Ortega. So I just decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to get the Ortega. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to go and put that Ortega in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna put that orteg in there. But see, you know how it says on the packages, this is how you usually do it, okay? It's brown, uh, ground beef, and drain it. And then add three cups of water to it and the seasoning mix. But no, no. I know I'm using the Ortega, but I gotta be somewhat bougie in a way. So I decided for the moisture of the taco seasoning, what would be better than adding good old fashioned, original Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies? I mean, what would be better than for the moisture of it? And then if I need a little bit more moisture, I could just add a little bit of water in it, swish it around, and just dump it in. And it'd be giving good flavor with, like, the tomatoes and the green chilies. Oh, anyway. And if you never tried Rotel, you should try Rotel. Okay, let me tell you. They're the best Rotel recipe is Rotel and Velveeta cheese 
and you put that in the microwave. Makes a great queso. Oh! It has boiled. So let's turn it off. Oh, too big. Just right. And we'll just, you know. We'll just put it right here. I'll just leave it right there. I think I'm gonna drain this though, cause there is a bit of moisture in this. So, unless it cooks out, I don't know. I haven't tried this brand of meatless stuff before. I have tried the uh, the brand though. I do know the brand though. I'm cooking tacos, Adele. Cause it's Cinco de Mayo. And my family deserves a good, solid Cinco de Mayo meal. Cause I really, do. tomorrow is my boy's birthday. And I truly believe that it was Mexican food that helped me give birth to my son. So, happy Cinco de Mayo. Have a Corona if you're a drinker. Have some tequila if you have to. You know that, have some of that. Have a good time, man. Ooh, pop quiz. What does Rotel stand for? Does anyone know? I sure as heck don't know. Thank you, Adele. Now, I am not draining the Rotel. That's our moisture. So, we're just going to leave all those beautiful juices in the Rotel. Oh, it smells so good. It's like spicy stewed tomatoes. Oh, it's so good. It's so fresh. I really like the version that has the cilantro and lime in it. Ah, it's from the inventor of Carl Rotel, who started a family canning company in Elsa. That's beautiful. Oh, those nachos look good. I can't wait to bring them out, but I got to do the meats. I got to do the meats. Oh. May I say this smells so good? We got some of that. Okay, good. Oh. It's kind of like has um like a turmeric, almost like um a curry smell to it. I love this meat because I've had it in like their frozen lasagnas and stuff. So it is really tasty and it's kind of got a, like a little bit of a bite to it. So we're gonna just stop, dump the taco seasoning in here. Kind of mix that in a little bit. Put that Rotel in there. Oh yeah. Oh, the smell of the Rotel when it hits the pan. It's so good. Mm. Oh my God. I need something a little bit more um, harder. Let me. How are you doing guys? Wonderful.
Not to beat a good old wooden spatula for crushing meat. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in. Remember to slush the water around because you want to get all that tomato juice goodness. Because that's flavor. And we cook this down. Oh my God. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Vegan life. How are you feeling for this? This is all vegetarian and all you have to do pretty much essentially, essentially um, whew, sorry. I'm out of breath. I think the second wave, let me sit back for a minute. Like I said, sometimes I gotta take some time. Let's just say the second wave of the edibles have currently kicked in and um, I'm having a heat flash. So it's nice having a heat flash. Woo! Why do you drink Coke? Because I heard Pepsi through the conspiracy. That is uh, a word fetal cells. So I'm like, nah, I am stuck with my chair. Oh yeah. If you message me on Instagram, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Oh my God, it's almost like a sloppy joe. Like a Mexican style sloppy joe. It's so good. This is some good stuff. All right. Let me put these peppers in here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I went there with the peppers. I went there. I dumped them in. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's got a case of cream. I think it's gonna be awesome tacos. I'm tempted to try that vegetarian meat. Yeah, you should try it. You should always try it. Like, I, I like the dairy alternatives, too. Um, I've been like, I really like that coconut yogurt. It is so good. It is so good. And also, they have, like, a coconut um, whip topping, which is, like, equivalent to, like, Cool Whip but it's got like a coconut flavor in it. It's so good. It is so good. A vegan sloppy joe's yum. You should follow Chef Jane. Ooh, that sounds really good. That sounds really, really good. Like if you guys want more cooking shows like this, let me know. Like, I really want to know if you like more cooking shows like this. Like, um, I can really teach you guys how to cook vegetarian really well. Really well. Oh, so good. Hey, man. Cooking it, like, doing anything when you have fibromyalgia is a chore, let's just be honest. <laughs> Are you vegetarian? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. Every once in a while, I can't help myself. I dig into that chicken. I know, I know, because for, for the most part, 
I'm an ethical vegetarian, so, like, I love animals, and I feel really guilty about the chickens, but it's like, that carnal side, man, it's a struggle, but I'm going to try not to do it again, so, hopefully that'll turn out good. Oh my god, you see the hot flash? Yeah, all, all the menopausal and perimenopausal women and all the women who have the hysterectomies. Hoo-hoo! You know how that feels. Or the pregnant women, you know how that feels. Oh, this is so good. Just listen to that sound. Oh, that looks so good. I'm just going to wait until the peppers get softer and then I'll turn it off and I'll cover it up and set it aside. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Let me try this. Let me see how this tastes. Oh yeah, you see that big old chunk of fake meat, folks. Mm. Mm. That is some flavor town. Let me tell you, the meat kind of has like a, um, there's no soy in it, but it kind of has like a soy sauce type of flavor to it. I think it may be the peas, but that is so good. It's so good. Oh, it tastes good. Oh. Mm. The thing, the thing is what I love about vegan food or vegetarian food is the flavors and the vegetables and, and you can just feel the health come into you and it's just like, oh. I'm just saying, like to me, this is the way to go in your diet. It really is. And I'm so glad that I have a man that wants to be a vegetarian with me, too. Because it's so much cheaper being a vegetarian than it is being a meat eater. I'm just going to be honest. And not only that, I, I'm like always oh, been kind of ethical because I love animals. And um, Jason is, too. Very much like that, too. An ethical vegetarian. So it's like, we're like... We're like so perfect to be together. Just saying. Like, like my ex-husband, Chris, he always wanted me to cook meat. And it like, we could never afford anything but his meat. Because he would never sacrifice his meat for his family. And it's like, can you just let me cook vegetarian? I can make it really cheap, cheap. I swear I can. It's a shame. It's a shame. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, all right. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna cover that up. And I'm gonna put it on my island. So, just to let you know, it's going on my island. Oh.
All right, let's take these nachos out. Oh yeah. Look how gorgeous. Let me stay on the camera for you. Look at that. Now, I don't want anyone else to tell me again I can't cook, okay? Because that damn here is making everyone in the audience drool. Checkmate. I win. Ha, 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 ha. So, of course, we're going to put all the toppings on to whoever's will wants to do it in my family. But that's pretty much the end of my cooking show. Stay tuned, folks. I will do more cooking in the kitchen for you guys. Not cooking in my bathroom, not cooking in my bedroom, but cooking in the actual freaking kitchen. Mm-hmm, I did get my sour cream. You better believe. And, and I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. This, this is the best damn sour cream you will ever see. The best damn sour cream you will ever see. There is no other thing better than do 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 the dollop with Daisy. I have a good kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. This is my island. This is the mess I created that I shall be cleaning up. <laughs> but uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, peace and Maranatha, people. I love you guys. I love you guys so much, but stay tuned. Stay tuned to more Shanty Escapades on the Shanty for Christ channel. I thank everyone. If you donated... Thank you. If you love me, thank you. Peace. I love you guys.